Well, welcome back. We have a situation out of Mount Rainier. It's been acting up. So let's get right down to it. Zero point starting off. Zero point five twenty-two. It's all Mount Rainier. Uh, saying twelve twenty-three, uh, twelve thirty-eight a.m. UTC, which would be four thirty-eight p.m. Pacific Standard. That's the time zone this is in. There's coordinates, depth of a kilometer. And all this is going to come out of the Pacific Northwest Seismic Net Network, so PNSN. Next, we have this 0 0.9 that also hit at the peak um, at 4.37 p.m. Pacific Standard, 0 0.8 kilometer depth. Uh, there's coordinates, and yeah. Next, we have a pair of 0 0.7s that hit a little bit further south of the volcano, but still worth mentioning. Um, so let's go do that. This happened at 12.07 a.m. Pacific Standard, depth of negative 1.1 kilometers. There's a coordinate saying 15 kilometers or 9.3 miles northwest of Packwood, Washington. But the negative means this is a above sea level. So there's that. We also have this other... 0 0.7 that hit and technically on the 23rd at 11:52 p.m. Pacific Standard 1.2 kilometer depth um, and there's coordinates with that so let's edit this um, that's supposed to be a 3 and then we have this 0 0.4 near Gobbler's Knob and Mount Wow that's what but it's southwest of the volcano. 0 0.4, I'd say 8 kilometers northeast of Ashford, 9.85 kilometer depth. There's a coordinates. And again, this is pretty much just background activity at the volcano. Sure, there's five of them in the span of a night, in the span of like six, seven, eight hours. Um, yeah, like. Yeah, in the span of eight hours, there's five quakes plus what I already covered last night was also in that time frame. So, kind of got ourselves a little bit of an earthquake swarm at Mount Rainier. Not saying it could lead to any activity, but it's definitely worth watching in case that changes. But either way, that does seem to be a fright now. Stay safe out there. See you in the next video. Bye.